Hey, Camp Family, um, we are back with our bubble machine, uh, part two. I know Nurse Lulu already showed you uh, how to do a small version of this, but obviously at camp we want to up the ante a little bit, so we're going to make a little bigger machine. Um, all of these things can be found at your home. Um, I have a shop vac, I have a trash can with water and soap in it, and again, just like Nurse Lulu said, you could do dish soap, you could do body wash, you can do any kind of soap, it doesn't have to be bubble soap. Um, then I have tape and a towel. So with the shop back, I uh, wanna let you guys know that safety is our biggest concern. So make sure that when you're doing this, that you keep whatever is electrical away from the water and the bubbles that you're making. So the way that I'm doing this is through a tube uh, that goes into the water that's completely away from the electronic uh, of the machine. You can also use a leaf blower. You can use um, a hair dryer with tubing that goes down into the water. All that matters is that whatever is blowing out the air into the water is underneath the water itself. So here's how I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna take my towel and I'm going to put it over the trash can so that it makes the foam bubbles that you saw earlier with Nurse Lulu. Then I'm gonna take my tubing, I'm gonna put it under the towel into the bottom of it, of the trash can. And then I'm gonna tape the towel around to make sure it's nice and tight. What this does is this helps with the type of bubbles that are gonna come out whenever it's time to turn on the machine. So, real easy, make sure that you've got a good seal here, um, towel on top. Doesn't matter what kind of towel it is, just as long as you cover the entire area. Now I'm gonna take my shop back, and obviously I put the hose on the side of the shop back that blows out the air. We're gonna hook that up, and then we're gonna see what happens. Again, making sure that the machine is far away from the water, and here we go. This is also something you wanna do outside, because it's about to get real messy, so here we go. concerns you want to have when playing in these bubbles is if you do jump into them please be careful because there is nothing that is going to stop your fall except for whatever's under the bubbles so if I were to jump into this I could hurt myself so please be careful with that um, you can let this go as long as you want we've also put food coloring or other things on top of the towel it did ruin the towel that we had earlier so if you have a towel that you're okay with ruining um, you can do that. There's a lot of fun things you can do with this activity, so let's just enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to go have fun with this, and you guys don't need to watch me having fun. You need to go outside, have fun with these bubbles, enjoy the beautiful weather that's outside, and have a lot of fun. We'll see you later. 